need to look out for. Yes, we do. Uh. We need to get to Isabel. I mean the wife. If the guards come after me, she'll be in danger too. Please, go to her. I'll catch up when I can take her to safety. I'll make sure she's safe. Where will I find her? Follow the road to Kithonia. Her house will be on the left. Look for the green cloth on the doorpost. Quickly! I'll catch up as soon as I can. Kiere. Good job, Mistyos. They got to her before me. There was nothing I could do but avenge her. She trusted me, Mistyos. All I wanted was to make her smile. But every time I tried, all I brought her was pain. It's all I ever do. I shouldn't have told her about my stupid plan to reunite her with her husband. I did this to her, didn't I? No. You didn't. Nobody wanted things to end like this. Least of all you. Everything seemed okay when she smiled, you know? I didn't care who she was smiling at. You did your best. No one's best is ever enough. No. No, it's not. Take this. I was going to give it to her when I helped them escape Kithonia. To get them through tough times. They won't need it anymore, and it's too heavy for me to bear. Take it as payment for your troubles. And leave me, please. Share it to you.
You look strong. I could always use more people to keep the slaves in line if you're looking for work. I'm already working. I'm here about one of your slaves, Fedon. As if I know their names! You're wasting my time! Give me a moment to explain. That's close enough to begging for me. Fine. Speak. There's a man who paid you for his freedom. He'd like you to follow through on that promise. Hmm... Doesn't sound familiar, but I'm feeling generous. Do something for me, and I'll give this faith on his freedom. What is it? There's a woman I'd like you to kill. It'll leave her family to fend for themselves, but the cult of Cosmos needs it done. You're a member of the cult? If that's true, then you know who I am. You're smarter than they make you out to be, Eagle Bearer. Tell me why I shouldn't just kill you now. You could. Of course, if I'm killed, the slave stays that way. And I'm the only one who knows where his papers are. Why does this woman need to die? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you needed to know that. Wait, you don't. Fedon said you already broke your promise once. This better not be another of those times. Look around. I have plenty of slaves. In exchange for the woman's death, I can let one go. Most people prefer to keep their cult status a secret. You can't do a thing about it if you want to help whatever his name is. Also, it adds a bit more fun to the situation, don't you think? I'll be on my way. Kill the woman or not, it's your choice. But if you want your slave friend to go free, it's the only way. One person's freedom is another's demise. Cassandra! What chance that we should meet here? It doesn't really feel like chance. Ah, so you wish for today's topic to be about fate? No, not really. Good, because I had another in mind. Attica is large, yet fate keeps bringing us together. Ah, you're trying to bring us back to fate once again. I won't let you avoid answering my questions, though. So how much did you overhear? Oh, all of it. You have a difficult choice to make, clearly. How much is the freedom of one person worth? Do you believe one life is worth more than another? People aren't equal, even if we wish it were true. So, you would say, for example, that your life is worth more than another's. Then, would you also say that there are some who are more worthy of life than yourself? Of course I wouldn't say someone else is more worthy of life than I am. But to say that contradicts your point. Unless, of course, you believe yourself to be the most worthy of life out of all who currently live? I think I've said enough. Ah, you're, you're right. I know you are busy and your mind is weary. That does sound like me. Go now. It's been an honor having these conversations with you. You too, Socrates. What is it? I'm not going to kill someone so you'll free Fedon when he should have been already. Fine. I'll find someone else to kill her, and Fedon will remain my slave. I'll be sure he receives a grand reward for wasting so much of my time.
thing gets past the eyes of Cosmos.
Welcome. Until next time. then. Choose your opponent. I have unpaid debts to collect. I see. Anyone in particular come to mind? Choose your opponent. Vasilis will have devoured his last opponent. For those of you about to risk your lives, the crowd salutes you! Oh! 
Mistyos, you've lived up to what my own entire saw in you. You're destined for greatness. Thank you. I'm done, Mistyos. I'm living. A life outside the arena gates is no longer for me. I need to move on. Where will you go from here? What will you do? I need to live life the best way I know how. Will you see your daughter? My little Anea? Yes, I think I'll see her. I hope we meet again, Skura. Why do you want to leave the arena now? It's because of you, Mistyos. I finally watched you in the arena. How long has it been since you've watched the fight? A long time. But I'm glad I went back in. 
You've stirred feelings in me I thought to be long dead. I understand, friend. Friend? Not old man? Not old man. Friend. Oh, before I leave, I've set up one last fight for you. The best arena fighter the Greek world has to offer. It won't be easy. But then again, nothing in the arena ever is. Are you interested? Perhaps some other time. As you wish. If you want to fight in the arena once I'm gone, talk to Praxis at the door. He'll handle such matters from now on. Gross. You want to fight someone in the arena? <laughs> 